that worked way better than expected. <laughs> so we're over here at the range and I've noticed a peculiar thing. There are no birds. None at all, not a, a whisper. So today our goal is to make this place more suitable for birds. Because I love that sweet tune that they sing. Brings me joy, reminds me of the summertime. So come along with me as we try and lure them in. What better way to show birds that they're welcome to live here than to build them a birdhouse? Get all the, the tools we need. We've got the nails, we've got the boards, we've got some clamps to hold the boards down while we cut them. We've got the hooks to hang them. We even got some bird seed to lure them in. But sadly, they were all out of hammers. But I got the next best thing. Whosoever holds this hammer, if he be worthy, shall possess the power. Pretty much a hammer. Wow. I think this is the first time I've ever held one of these things in real life. And uh, it does not feel good. It doesn't feel good to have. I feel like I'm doing something wrong by having this in my hands. It's like a safety fucking release. Wow, dude. That's how that works, huh? Man, it's so ugly. I'm ugly and I'm proud. Behold, God's mistake. Yeah, this will uh, this will work nicely as a hammer, I think. I think this is about the only solid part of the, the gun. That'll be my striking face. And uh, we're going to use it to shoot through some boards once we get them measured out. We've got to make a roof, three walls, and then the front with the hole to the center for them to go in. Uh, so we've got a handful of cuts to make. we got plenty of ammo here. The Yoki 9 mil, 1,000 rounds. Should be enough to cut through four pieces of wood. So uh, let's get started with this abomination and see how well it holds up as a multi-tool. You think a gun length would be the nice nice size of a house? Yeah. Okay. We'll, Should be. Yeah. We'll go we'll go right here. And then we'll use it as a straight edge. Fairly straight. I believe that's our first cut. Let's get this thing loaded. Get this clamped up. Alright, we got our board clamped secured in place. Here's the mark for our first cut. Let's get loaded up and uh, start cutting. Let's hold 10. How many bullets do we think this is actually going to take to make? I'm going to guess about 150. Whew, damn. Feels like it's just more dangerous to the user. Hey, there ain't no way the owner and creator of High Point carries a fucking High Point. Ain't no way in hell. Extremely low. <laughs> there we go. Alright. Some pretty solid progress. We're gonna we're gonna try the the new technique next round. Time to clean up our technique a little. We want some nice straight lines. Very well. 
Okay, we're gonna have to try a different technique. This could be a salvageable floor though, as long as I keep it from splintering the rest of the way across. So we're gonna stand back a little bit. That way there's not so much fucking force right out the gate there. I think that's gonna be the way. And I'll just do that all the way across and then I should be able to just break it up. Now we just need to connect the dots. We'll see if we can't just get a little snap. Ah. And there's our floor. The birds are gonna love this. 50 down. That was uh, a lot more than anticipated for an initial cut. So uh, let's try and be a little more accurate. It's about as straight as it gets, dude. And I know straight. Here we go. Cut number two. Make. I've got the, the sights like dead on with the line. I don't know if it's just because I'm so close, but it's like half an inch under. You'd think with me being so close, it would be extremely accurate. Who knows? I'm no gunologist. I don't know the science behind this. There it is, our first wall. Three more to go. Some measurements here. Uh, uh, it's one box per cut. Yeah, so. coming around 50 rounds a cut. Okay. So how many more cuts do we have? This will be the second wall. We're gonna do a roof. So four more cuts. So 200 more rounds. Okay. I'm gonna try to cut it in one mag. Okay, one mag. You think you can cut that in 10 bullets? Yeah. Okay. We're gonna need more bullets. Yeah. So bad. <laughs> so bad. It's, so it's not just me. The wood's like it, bad, the gun's great. Yeah, yeah, the gun's fine. This thing just splinters bad. It's a great gun. Oh, look at this butterfly coming to hang out. <laughs> Quite a wall that you have there. Yeah. You got duct tape? <laughs> That's the cleanest cut we've got all day. So, we've got all of our boards cut uh, as straight as they would be with an, an actual saw. And we use some of these knot holes to be just our natural little entryways. Shot a hole through the bottom so we can insert a little landing or a perch. Uh, I believe this is gonna be quite the home. We're gonna uh, leave a couple little messages on the inside of the birdhouse, you know, that way it feels a little more homey for them, you know? They feel comfortable. They can look at that each night. Home is where the seeds are. Don't talk to me before I've had my worms. Live, flap, love. <laughs> As you can see, very, very empty. We're gonna use this guy as our hammer now. Test the hammering capabilities of the high point. If that ain't a hammer, I don't know what is. Well, we've got the birdhouse completed. Uh, it's all put together now. Got a lot of the gaps covered up, you know, filled in. That way there's not 
too much of a breeze for whoever decides to live here. The only thing that's missing is a nice coat of paint. I'm just going to set some paint cans around it, shoot them, hope it sprays on it in a beautiful pattern, and we'll do that with a handful of cans and hope for the best. That worked way better than expected. <laughs> Well, there's one wall painted. <laughs> Another perfectly painted wall. The birds are gonna love this shit, dude. And there we have it. Most beautiful birdhouse any bird has ever seen. A wonderful shade of blue. It's gonna attract a lot of colorful birds, especially the blue birds, which we love. Now, let's get a hook put in this thing and hang it up. There we go. New home, ready to move in. Nice and colorful so they can find it. It's gonna be a beautiful family that gets this home. A little housewarming gift. They know that they're welcome. Good seeds and nuts and dried berries in there. It's just a peanut. Yeah, that's good. You won't find this listing on Zillow. Now, for the hardest part, wait new family to come and enjoy this beautiful home that we have crafted for them using uh, a high point. I wasn't for sure if it was going to work at all to begin with, but it happened and it came out pretty well. So thank you guys so much for hanging out and uh, helping me build this birdhouse. Don't forget, I love you so much and we'll see you next week, alright?